推了以后就有变化的推吧，也是虽然是一样的，看起来是一样的。Once one pattern is established, then you'll find being able to make transformations more easy. 那个变化推法呢？你的听听不够，咱就不明白。But transformations are not possible unless your listening ability is a little bit better. 所以这个就是会了会变化的推手的手点了，明白 ？And here you can the hands can meet anyway. 手在外面，我就在里面。特别是有时候说手在这里，呃，这个这个这个这个在这个这个。Notice that my hands are pushing from the outside. 他打我手在外面。But he's able to deflect. Does it make any difference? And he's at the advantage. Then he ends up able to push me in a new. If my hands are on his side, he's not able to push me. He can deflect, however. This he can't push me. I can't push him. If his hands are on his side, he's able to push me. That's good. 看第二圈起来，我就先打他了。我就先打。真的是变化。But this all has to do with transformations. 我们最要紧的。Crude the. 转腰。Is the waist. Pay particular attention to the waist. 左前腿。Front leg. 左后腿。Back leg. 左前腿腰身向右转。Twisting the hips and waist down. Spiraling up on the back leg. It's all in the waist. The waist and the hips are spiraling up and spiraling down. Not like this. Because there you had no legs, no waist, just the arms going like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
to uh, get the feet moving in half steps only. So now we're trying to add in the half step to this. So start with your hands in ready position. The hand, first we'll try this without moving the hands. The feet would start off together. And it's Same for the other leg. Then deflect to here, this is enough. It's not necessary to deflect any further. Because here I'm already deflected. Then if I wanted to shoulder strike, I would be pushed away immediately. If you go too far, now the person can do a shoulder strike. Because you've gone, you've made too far of a loop. So you only deflect as far as you need to and no further. This is as far as you need to make the loop. I can't make any more movements in this position. And if I don't, then I'm also I'm going to probably be, if I decide to do something else, I'll be pushed over. This is his, he's in a fantastic position at this moment. And whatever he wants to do, he could. If he wants to push, he could. If he didn't want to, he didn't have to. If this hand, for example, goes all the way over to here, now you're at the disadvantage. Now this is a dead hand. And now you can uh, be controlled by the partner. So that's not a good way to practice that movement. So you can't go overboard on your loo. And you can't do, have, you must at least make loo. Let's say I didn't, I didn't complete the loop. Now the hand is ready to push. So complete the loop, but don't go too far. That's as far as you need to go. Here, because in this position, he can step forward, or he could deflect. Let's say you go beyond the loop, necessary loop, you're not able to immediately channel energy outward, and you can't even push. So this is a crucial concept. Don't go beyond. Keep the body upright. Try not to lean. As soon as you start to go beyond your center, you'll start to lean. So keep the body upright. That is the on the on. This is as far as you need to go for the loop. You don't need to go too far. Here, 
Many, many transformations can be made here. The same for the opposite person. Don't continue the on unnecessarily. You can't, the on shouldn't go too far. And you have to at least have a minimum on. So there's a minimum and a and it's very difficult to keep your center without going beyond. And with the, at the moment you're not paying attention, you'll be pushed over. So when you're practicing this, if you're pushed and the partner has deflected, don't continue, don't force yourself to continue with an on. If you're in a loo, you've already deflected the partner's push, then don't continue the loo unnecessarily. Otherwise, you lose the ability to transform quickly. And you've wasted energy. You've, you've lost your advantage, you've wasted energy, and you can't transform as quickly. Then, in, within the two hands, if I'm using my right hand, the left hand is very, very light. If the left hand is pushing, the right hand is very, very lightly connected to the partner. It's to give, not to give the partner an opportunity to make surprises. So the hands have got to be light. I left. If, if he moves quickly, I've got to follow quickly. It's this idea of staying absolutely connected to the partner's chi. If the partner is slow, you move slowly too. Keep the partner contacted con continuously. So you can't get away. Partner can't seem to get away. Then, then, if it, if this hand starts to go beyond your center, then don't worry about it. Use the other hand to push. So, don't leave. Now he should be staying in contact with me. Then this hand would arrive. If he drops one, because here he has nothing to hang on to, nothing to lean against. So without this something to lean against, the other hand would If he's got something here, and I push here, it doesn't come to much. Because he's not empty. This hand is still connected to my cheek. 